Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could search files by metadata attributes. So this mostly applies to image files uh, because they have the most metadata fields, but sometimes you could do it also for other things such as music files, even Word documents, and then you have other file types that really don't have anything in regards to metadata information. All right, so let me show you what I mean by metadata. So I have this picture here. If I right click on it, go to properties, and then go to details, you can see we have title, subject, you know, some tags, if you want to add specific tags, some comments, uh, the author, copyright information, camera information, and so on. All right, so now if we were to search up here, normally it's just going to search by name, so we'd have to search by one of these image names here, such as, let's say, DS, for example. And that's going to show that. Okay, so if we search for drone, for example, you would think it wouldn't show up in the search results because there's no file named drone. So let's type it in here. But you can see that pops up because it has drone in the metadata information here. And let's say we look for Jim, the author of this file here. You can see this one came up as well. And if we go to the properties, that's because Jim is there. You can see this doesn't have much other information. And let's try maybe Canon for the camera. So you can see these three files here have the word Canon here for the camera maker. And let's say we search for bike trip. You can see these four pictures have it. So let's check this one for example. Bike trip, it has it in the title and subject. So not all of these fields are searchable. So let's say we typed in 24, we'll see what happens there. Okay, let's see if these have 24 somewhere in there. All right, for the bit depth. All right, let's try HDR plus for example. Okay, see so you found that as well. Now let's try 2022 for a comment, see if that pulls up anything. Okay, that one worked. Now let's try 1144 for the dimensions here. Okay, found that as well. All right, let's see if we can find something that doesn't work. Let's try 25B. So you can see this didn't show up. Let's see if Fisher shows up. Nope, nothing with Fisher. So here's an example of some of the fields that won't come up in the search. All right, so many times when you take your pictures, uh, your camera automatically adds a lot of this information. And of course, you could come through here and edit the information yourself. And then when you go to search on it, you'll be able to search uh, for specifics. All right, so now let's go look at a Word document here. Okay, so this has a tag called trip, so let's see if it finds that. Okay, so it found that as well as some other files that had trip in there. Let's look for the author here. Okay, so it found that. How about the number two for the revision? Okay, so it found the number two in some of the file names here, and these must have the number two somewhere else. And it has the number two here for the revision number. All right, let's look for agenda for this Word document. All right, so it found that as well. Now, one thing you'll notice, let's look for Todd. You can see everything shows up in the search results there. And that's most likely because the user logged in here is Todd. So it doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be Todd in, let's say, this one here. But it does find it in the username section there. So that's where it's pulling it from. So not necessarily a good one to search by. All right, now finally, let's look at this uh, notepad file here. 
So as you can see, there's not a lot of metadata here, uh, just you know, text document and have the size and so on. So let's say we search for text. Okay, so it did find that. And there's not much else you could really search on here. And then, of course, like I said, other files are going to have different attributes, but pretty much anything that's a picture, you're going to have the uh, most fields here. And another little trick you could use, too, is you could use, let's say, tag, colon, drone, and it pulls it up like that, too. So if that's not working, you could try tag colon with the search term you want to use and see if that works for you. Okay, so obviously editing all this metadata information is not going to be easy if you have a lot of files you're going to do it to, but there are programs out there you could probably find that could help you um, fill in this information a little more quickly. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.